All right, guys, so I haven't posted a video in a minute. Um, right now, I'm working on finishing, taking apart the rest of the bottom end, um, taking it to the shop, and it's going to get a 0.5 millimeter bore, oversized bore going with 87.5 millimeter pistons. Um, I think the compression ratio is uh, 9 to 1, I think. Um, here's the block that's sitting in it right now and running eight pounds of boost I had a uh, low compression in cylinder one as you can see the gauge sitting here so gonna get the, the bottom end built and that's what I'm doing right now getting it taken apart so with this quarantine and all um, Hopefully I can get that all done quick and easy without any issues. I'll uh, keep you guys updated. So as you can see, this block's pretty dirty. <clears throat> it's gonna get, uh, what is it called, hot tanked, cleaned and all. Um, new pistons, rods, new bearings. Um, I'm not gonna go with the K20 oil pump. just because I don't really feel like doing it. I'm gonna keep my RPMs kind of on the lower side. And yeah, we'll go from there. Right now, I'm just trying to take the oil pump off, um, get this baffle off and uh, split, the, split the bottom end so I can take the pistons, pistons out and all that. Okay, so right now, I'm going to be taking the rod bolts off, just using a, a 19 millimeter socket and a half inch wrench to turn the crank. It turns pretty easy and the rod bolts, it takes an inverted Torx socket, I, I believe that's what it's called. They go by uh, E sockets. Uh, this one's an E14. Uh, this is the size for the K24 A2. Oh, gee. Yeah. And they are on there tight. Oh, I'm actually going to swap these out. Get more leverage. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? More leverage with these. Wow. You guys looking at this? 
I, I don't know much about about pistons, but damn, I think this one. Is that supposed to be like that? I mean, I'm no expert, but I, to me, it looks like that is cracked. Let me. Huh. Look at that. That that had to have broken. Yeah. Um, this this block had low compression. And shoot, it, it, it wasn't even this cylinder. Okay, which way are we looking at? This would be cylinder four. It wasn't cylinder three. Yeah, it was cylinder three I had low compression in, and I was running 14 pounds of boost. Um, same thing same thing as this, this stock block. This one I ran on eight pounds, and it didn't last me longer than two months. I'm starting to think that the, the tuner I went through might have not been so good. Um, I mean, I hate to say it, it's either that or something was off, but two blocks this one was running 14 pounds so i mean give or take that's quite a bit of boost but this one we were running eight pounds of boost and look at that it's actually the same same cylinder that i have low compression in and i bet you if i take it apart i'm gonna have the same issue i don't know if these are just weak pistons or what but that's just bizarre i guess that's uh it's a good thing I ordered uh, forged internals. Uh, we got some dog here. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna pull the rest of them out and see see what kind of issues we got with the rest of them. why they, they keep telling you don't don't turbo a stock car although I've seen plenty plenty of people run a stock K24 uh, block and up into like 500 horsepower so yeah I'm sure the tuning has something to do with it the way it's built cost fuel you're using and whatnot but that's definitely not good. Wow. So right off the bat, cylinder two. Same thing. Look at that. Just shattered. Crazy. You guys see that right there?
you do have a little ear right here. It looks like you can pry under. Let's see if that other side has one as well. Yes. And I am replacing all the bearings. Well, there you guys go. There's my bare block. So there's the oil jets. is all going to get hot tanked and cleaned. All the bearings are getting replaced. And man, I just That is that is the craziest thing. Cracked right there. I can see it another one. Yeah, that's bizarre. Well, there's the block. It's, I'm gonna pull these out. Um, and I do believe it's just, it's about ready to get sent out. Obviously I'll have to pull all these out. I'll clean it a little bit before I send it over to the shop. Um, don't want to don't want to drip a bunch of oil in my car while I'm transporting it, and just oh, it's a good note, you know. Here's the head. Already got polished, and this thing's gonna have to get resurfaced, cleaned, and all that, all that fancy good stuff. So I'm not sure if everybody knows this trick to take studs out. Um, you thread on one nut, and you thread on another. You butt them up tight. I'm gonna put this camera down. So you butt them up tight. them up tight and then you tighten it against each other like so slacken up 
just a bit. And then you go on the back nut. And you, that did not work. Hold on, I gotta tighten this some more. Right there. There you go. You gotta make sure these are tight against each other. And then you just thread it out. And then you just break them loose. It's easier to use two open end wrenches, but why why work easier? There you go. And your stud is out. Easy money. There you go. All right, so another box came in. Hopefully this is the pistons and the bearings. bearings I can't really do this while holding the phone Did I order the right ones? Well, I guess we're going to find out. I guess time to take that block to the shop now so they can get it bored, bored and honed. And then they'll hot tank it as well. Well, it is absolutely a beautiful day. Um, got that block and pistons sitting in the truck. Gonna head up to uh, Daily Driven Motorsports and they are going to bore that block, uh, get it honed and hot tanked. Get it all nice and cleaned up, so looking forward to that. Um, with this coronavirus, see how it goes. They told me 
I just gotta drop my block off in their parking lot and text them. Speaking of social isolation. Believing that better days are ahead. So keep listening. Every time I unplug my phone, it goes into the radio and it just blares. All right, so get back to you guys on uh, how that all goes. So we're almost there. It's only about an hour away from my house. 60 minute drive. Beautiful day. Bugs are out like crazy. You can see my windshield is covered in them. Yeah, we're about to find out uh, if I can even talk to these people in person. Uh, probably not because of the whole, whole lockdown and whatnot. So, as you can see, their office or shop is right behind me. Um, they left that office door unlocked for me. And I just dropped my motor off. Easy. Now I just got to send them a text message. Uh, letting them know which motor I have, what needs to be done, what size bore, all that. You know, playing it by the rules during this uh, whole quarantine. Fun stuff. So a, a week went by. Uh, they had that block done probably in like two days, but I've been working all week, so I wasn't able to go pick it up. Uh, one thing that kind of slipped my mind was I also needed the, the block and head surface redone. And all I asked this shop to do was my the board job, the honing and the, the hot tank, all that, I completely forgot that I needed to get my surfaces redone. So I already picked up that block uh, and uh, I did find a shop that's a lot closer. Um, that's where I'm headed right now. I got that block and head in the back and I'm going to go and get it resurfaced. So. Gotta wait another week, but it is what it is. What happens when you get old, you start forgetting stuff. So, uh, I'll get back to you guys once, once that's all done. And, uh, we'll be ready to start throwing those pistons in. All right, I'll catch y'all later. All right, guys, so we just got done here picking up the block and head from uh, Redhead Engines down here in Silverton turned out pretty good he ended up taking out a total I think of like four four thousands he's gonna send me the info um, but the head was a little warped uh, right between the, the cylinder walls on a few of them and that's probably probably due to the motor blowing previously so gonna head over to the shop and I'm gonna get it cleaned out he cleaned the head for me um, but I told him just to leave the block I'll do it myself so headed to the shop right now I'm gonna get that all sprayed out um, get all those shavings um, blown out of the oil galleys and whatnot so we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes so, uh, not a good idea to wash that block with a pressure washer when it's sitting on its side. Up high on some, uh, uh, some stands. Pressure washer will knock it over. So I'm headed back to Redhead Engines. And I'm gonna see if they can resurface the block one more time. If it's not doable, then I'm gonna have to be taking that uh, block apart that I have sitting in the car right now 
and um, getting that all tore down. But I'll have to get everything reborn, you know, everything all over again. So we'll see. This guy said he's gonna check my block out. Um, it's not very bad. It got a, it got two little scratches on uh, uh, in between cylinder. Two and three, I think. So it's definitely no good to get put back together. But yeah, you live and you learn. Uh, kind of a boner move, but it is what it is. I'm gonna head back up there and see what he says. So, got it redone. <clears throat> Looks beautiful now. Well, thanks for watching my video. Please uh, like and subscribe. Um, I'll be uploading a video here shortly. Um, I'm getting the block put together. So uh, go ahead and hit those notification, that notification button so y'all can uh, get notified when I get my next video uploaded. All right, peace dudes.